Well, thank you for joining me for another short time of reflection and prayer. Following Valentine's Day, I hope you're not too disappointed if you did not get any flowers or cards or a special meal. I know that you know that God loves you and gave you the best Valentine ever in Jesus Christ. Our reading today is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, verses 21 to 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times. And Jesus answered, I tell you not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Amen. How often do I have to tell you? How often have I got to ask you? Have you ever been on the receiving end of that type of statement? Or have you ever uttered those words with more than a little irritation or anger in your voice? I confess that probably I have said both at some time in my 60 odd years walking this glorious earth that God has made. Our relationships with God and others stand or fall on how much we are prepared to love and on how much we are prepared to forgive. Jesus had been teaching on how to deal with someone who sins against you and Peter wanted to know how often should I forgive someone. Jesus reply may have astonished him. Not seven times as Peter had suggested, but 77 times or, in some translations, 70 times seven. That's a lot. You know, I don't think Jesus really wanted us to keep a tally of how many times we forgive someone, ticking them off until we reach any magic number. He just expects us to forgive and forgive and forgive again. Yet it is possible that people will often remind us of our past errors and mistakes, and some may well look for any and every opportunity to cast them up to us. They will tell us that a leopard can't change its spots. They may say, I can forgive, but not forget. But that's just another way of saying, I can't forgive. We all can remember the wrongs that we have done. But on the cross, Jesus Christ bore our sins, past, present and future ones. And he offers us complete forgiveness. He cancels our wrongdoings once and for all. And we are freed from the burden of our sins. In truth, with Jesus on our side, we do get a fresh start. That leopard can change its spots. How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? At least one more time. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a loving and forgiving God, that through Jesus Christ you dealt with our sins once and for all. Help us to understand the true cost of our reconciliation with you. And as we have been forgiven, O Lord, help us to forgive others. As we have been reconciled to you, O Lord, Help us to be reconciled with those who we are estranged from. And as we are deeply and unconditionally loved by you, help us to love others in the same manner. O oh Lord, hear our prayers. And now let us say together the prayer taught to us by Jesus. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>